Hey everyone, this week has been something else. A uh, hurricane that we were supposed to be preparing for missed us completely. It literally put itself in park in the Bahamas and just chilled. I was like, what? In all my years, I've never seen something like that happen before. So yeah, prayers for all those that are affected in the Bahamas and all of the other states, Carolinas and such. So if you missed my last video, just to bring up the speed, when I was doing my silver suspension install in the last video, I noticed on the driver's side rear tire that it had a slow leak. So I finally went ahead and started to go and try to get it fixed. So I'm thinking it was like something like a nail in the tire or something like that just needed to be patched up. But yeah, it's not that bad. So this is how the tire is looking right now. It's literally on the floor kind of. I could kind of like push into it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now. I'm riding shotgun with my tire right now and I just left Action Tire and headed to their wheel repair shop. So they say they should be able to repair my wheel and have it for me back by tomorrow. So that's a, that's a positive finally. So yeah, sucks. So I got the wheel back and I wish I took a picture of it before with the crack. So right here you could kind of see it, but it's filled in but it was from here running all the way up to here. So they went ahead, filled it in, and thing looks pretty sturdy right here. And it comes up over to this side. So it's all filled in, and honestly, compared to, I had another wheel that cracked before, and yeah, they did a pretty good job fixing this one, so I'm glad about it. All right, so it's driving pretty good, and yeah, I definitely need an alignment, but other than that, it's a love. I'm looking to get some OEM style 162 wheels so I can swap up my wheels and go back to a more conservative look. I really like the OEM plus look like I had from before. Roll some pictures of it right now. The main reason I have such a wild setup right now is because of this, what happened. So this happened when I sold my house back in the day and moved into a pretty nice neighborhood that I thought it was. Well, apparently at night, people run around and steal people's wheels, which I did not know, AKA Baldwin Park. 
Worst place ever. I, I could never recommend living over there. So, yeah, I came out to go to work one morning. I walked downstairs. I'm looking, I'm like, when did I get black wheels? Because in the morning, like, all I saw was dark wheel wells. As I walked closer, I just seen was my car on bricks. I'm like, really, this is what's happening now, this? So I went ahead, called the cops, blah, blah, blah. So it was not only just my car, but at least a good 15 other cars got their wheels stolen. And I'm like, how the heck does this happen? It seemed like it happens on a regular basis. I don't know why the heck the cops never did nothing about it. So within a couple weeks, I pretty much broke that lease and I was out of there. I moved out. I'm like, yo, this is something else. But I ended up getting these wheels, the CCWs, because a friend of mine was doing a part out. And he gave me a good price on them. And he was like, yeah, pretty good friend of mine. So went ahead, went, went ahead, stuck them on, and I kind of liked it. It's like it gave my car a more like mean, aggressive-looking look to it compared to like stock, sleek, and just you know blend in but clean. So I liked it a lot. So in the spirit of the car community, and we know that we always have all these issues and stuff like that, it's really nice that people will come together and like help each other out. And yeah, that was one of those situations. Well, one of many, I could say. So comment below and let me know what was the worst thing that's happened to your car and like how did it turn out. Uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.